All right, I want to welcome you guys back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. Today I want to talk to you guys about something called uh, WD-40. I've talked to quite a few fishermen who they swear up and down that WD-40 is a magic fish attractant and that they put it on their bait and that it... Uh, it always catches some bigger, better fish. And I have personally I've never fished with WD forty before. But I've heard it. I've heard it from a lot of different people. So I I looked it up on the internet and there was some some uh, statements saying that it was made from fish oil. So, which to me would make sense. Of course, it's going to attract fish if it's made from fish oil. But then I, uh, I took it a step further and I called the, the one eight hundred number on the, on the on the can itself, and I asked them. I asked them personally about it, and I, you know, I I said, hey, look. I'm a fisherman. I've heard a lot about uh, other fishermen using WD forty as a, as a fish attractant. What does WD-40 have to say about that? And he specifically told me that there is a, <clears throat> I guess you call it a myth, that it's made from fish oil, and it's not. WD-40 is not made from fish oil. It's a petroleum-based product. So that raised my second question. I said, well, if it's a petroleum-based product, is it harmful to the environment if it's used as a fish attractant? And his answer was, in small amounts, in a large body of water, it's probably not, not going to be really too harmful. But that their research showed, has, no, has no proof that it is a, a fish attractant in any way, shape, or form. So, having said all that and uh, giving you a little bit of an insight on WD-40, I want to test it out. I want to see if it attracts fish. Um, I know if you put it on a bait, there's a chance that the bait itself may be attracting the fish and not the actual WD-40. So what I'm going to do today is I went down and I bought this, just a sponge, regular sponge that you wash your car with, can of WD-40. I'm going to set up a few yo-yos up along along the river here with the, just a sponge and WD-40 for bait sprayed into it and we'll come back later on and check them out and see see if there's anything on the lines or if they've even been disturbed I'm very curious to see what the results of this are going to be so let's get started So I'm just going to cut a little cube with this sponge. See that's a I'd say that's a fair size. I've already got a yo-yo rigged up here. And I'm just gonna put it on my hook. That should work, huh? Let's add a little WD-40 to it. I 
Make sure it's nice and saturated. All right, so that's the first one set up. I'm gonna go upstream and set up a few more, and I'll get back to you with some progress. We'll we'll check these yo-yos on the way back down. All right, so I'm off to check my yo-yos that I set out with the WD-40 earlier this morning. Got one right here. Looks pretty quiet. Trigger still set. It was still set. But the trigger was still set when I got here. It looked untouched. And there's the sponge. It's just gathered some moss. So nothing on that yo-yo. I've got one more just down the way. All right. So no, no bites on that one. Obviously, the trigger wasn't was still the trigger was still set. So let's go check the next one. I set these yo-yos with the WD-40 spray in areas that I know have a lot of fish. Here's the other one, and the trigger is still set. As you can see there, the trigger is still set on this one. your sponge obviously no bites <clears throat> so as far as my experiment goes 
WD-40 did not work for me to catch me any kind of fish or even so much as to trigger a, a strike. Uh, like I said, there are other people who swear by it. Um, I personally won't use it. I don't, I don't like to use anything that's not natural. Uh, and a petroleum-based substance dumped into the, to the rivers and the lakes is not something that I particularly enjoy doing. I did it this time just for a mere demonstration. So, um, if, you're, if you have uh, any questions about it, and you want to call yourself, look on a can of WD-40. They got the 1-800 number there. Let's see if I have that can here still. They've got a website. It's uh, www.wd40.com. Or you can call the safety hotline. It's the number I called. 1-888-324-7596. So that's my conclusion for you guys as far as WD-40 is concerned for uh, fish attractant. So as always, you guys take care. Be careful on the water and don't be using any pollutants out there. So until next time, we'll see you.